guys, Bob Morielli here with the Tuning School. And on today's Tech Tuesday video, we're here at SEMA with Dave from QA1. And I have a simple question. Compression okay. and rebound on the shocks. What's the difference here and how do they work? Yeah, well, when you think about a shock absorber, as your suspension moves up and down, you're gonna have compression as it compresses, and you're gonna have rebound as the shock extends. Now, it's very important to understand when you're looking at like a racing or you know, various driving scenarios, what that means to the vehicle and how it's gonna perform. So, let's, let's think about drag racing. That's part of the car. Um, everybody knows the front end's gotta come up, it's gotta transfer weight to the rear tire. Yep. So, a lot of times, what guys are gonna do is they're gonna tune their shock on a double adjust ball release, they have a light rebound, right? Right, so lifts nice and easy, promotes that weight transfer. Okay, so rebound is the up. You got it. Okay, got it. So progression's coming back down. Now, you want it to come up nice and easy, but you sure as heck don't want it to come down nice and easy. Right. right. It'll bounce. Exactly. Okay. When it come down, you'll actually sometimes unload the rear tire. Wow. Okay. So when that happens, you want to you want to actually have a firmer compression valve, so that when it goes back down, it kind of keeps that nose um, compliant, if you will. And actually, it maximizes your 60 point time and overall a better ET. So, compression rebound, extremely important when talking about suspension. Cool. Thanks for talking with us, Dave. Hey, no problem. Thank you.